Today we have the Smith & Wesson M&P full size. This is originally in 40 caliber. Um, good friend of mine's pistol, one of my assistant instructors, and um, he's done some modifications on it. Let's talk about it a little bit. Um, I really love the Smith & Wesson M&P. Um, they addressed a number of the problems that the Glock had. The main one was being the grip. Glock's a great pistol, the grip sucks. It feels like holding a, uh, a, a rounded off uh, two by four, and the angle between the bore and the grip is wrong for your natural uh, hand position. Smith & Wesson spent $3 million researching grips um, for their Sigma pistol, which was an abortion, but that um, research benefited this pistol. It comes with three different back straps, so you can change the size. And that's easily done by pivoting this tool 90 degrees, pulling it out, and now the, the back strap will come off of the pistol. This is also used as a takedown uh, tool. Another problem with the Glock is that when you take it apart, it required you to pull the trigger to relieve the tension on the slide lock and that caused some accidents and unintentional discharges in the cleaning rooms of a number of uh, police departments across the country. So to solve that, Smith & Wesson came up with this tool. So when you lock the slide back, you push in something down here. Now when I let the, I have to turn this lever down rather than trying to hold those slide lock pins on the Glock on either side. Hit the slide release. Hit the slide release and the, come on. And the slide comes right off. Disassembly is uh, similar to every other um, short recoil operated uh, pistol. And the nice thing about the 40 caliber Smith & Wesson is that it's convertible. So by taking the recoil spring out, the barrel out, I have a 9 millimeter barrel which goes in there. Slides back on. And we're now shooting a 9 millimeter. That's huge. Um, we all are aware of the ammo shortages we've uh, um, had to deal with the, with the last two elections. And uh, surprisingly, after the, the last shortage, 40 became available uh, quicker than 9mm did. Um, it was more readily available and, and the price was more normalized earlier. So, uh, but I've seen it where it was the other way around. In general, 9mm is going to be less expensive than 40. So it's nice to have that option. There may be times when you can find one caliber and not the other. Um, if you're training somebody, um, maybe you want to carry the gun in 40 for that a little extra power, but you have a new shooter. Uh, 40 is not great for new shooters. It's got a really uh, snappy recoil and louder report than the 9mm. So being able to switch to a 9mm and let them shoot that is a nice thing. Uh, the downside of the M&P is that it is more complicated than the Glock. It has more parts and it's much more complicated to totally disassemble it. Uh, if you want to do complete uh, teardown, it it's, requires a lot more uh, know-how and some specialized tools. So that's the downside of this pistol. Other than that, I really like them a lot. It's uh, this, when I'm recommending guns, uh, the two that I recommend are Glocks and the M&Ps. And Neither one is clearly superior to the other. I consider them to be about equal. Um, so uh, another nice thing about the, uh, the M&P is that there's an aftermarket company called Apex that makes some very nice triggers for these. The, um, uh, you might have heard of a thing called Trigger Reset, and there's some debate over the, the, the benefits of that, but the Smith & Wesson doesn't really have a Trigger Reset per se. And so... Um, uh, the Apex trigger is a replacement and gives you a much nicer trigger pull. This brings you down to about four and a half pounds. Um, 
a little on the pricey side, a little over 100 bucks for it, but it, uh, it gives you a nicer feeling trigger and a nicer trigger pull. So let's uh, put this back together and uh, hit the range. Okay, so we got to see um, the Smith & Wesson M&P 40. A little bit of detail. Let's try shooting it now. First, we're going to shoot it in 40. Well, that works. Yeah, that apex trigger is nice. Really short reset. You don't really feel it, but you don't have to move it very far. Travel is really short. The flat face of the trigger is nice, and it's got a nice, uh, nice feel to it. Not the plasticky feel that you're used to in the Glocks and the Smith, uh, the standard Smith & Wesson trigger. Now, let's pull the mag, rotate down the takedown lever, and let's switch out to 9mm. All you need to do is switch the barrel if you get the 40. Now you cannot convert the 9 up to 40. You have to buy a 40 Smith & Wesson M&P and then get a conversion barrel to convert down to 9mm. Okay, we're in 9mm mode. Let's see how she runs that way. And much nicer recoil. It's, uh, you know, smoother shooting in the 9 millimeter as opposed to the 40. So it's a lot more fun to shoot the 9. She won't miss. Let's try some headshots on the bottle target. I think that'll work. And let's try some fast body shots. And back to steel. Yeah, very nice. Um, so I really like the Smith & Wesson M&P as far as the aerodynamics. They're really top notch. It fits your hand. It points naturally. This is a gun you can fight with. And with the addition of the Apex Trigger, you've really taken an already good weapon and just pushed it a little bit further into the realm of perfection. I recommend it. Now I'm going to go get that, uh, that paper target, bring it back so we can take a look at it. Wait, right there. Okay, so this was the paper target I shot at 17 yards with the Smith & Wesson m and I did some fairly deliberate headshots. Accuracy's okay. One's right on the edge there. My fault, not the guns. It's hot out here. I've uh, done a bunch of other reviews up till now. I'm getting a little tired, a little sweaty, a little cranky. So I'm not shooting my best. But that's certainly reasonable. And then a little faster, pump three shots into the torso. And uh, once again, we're at 17 yards. That's long range in a gunfight. You're just not going to see that. Um, just gives you an indication of the practical accuracy of this pistol. So, once again, Smith & Wesson M&P 40. That can be converted down to 9. You saw, and these were shot with the 9mm barrel, and you saw how fast the conversion was. All you have to do is switch the barrel. The ejector, extractor, all um, work the same. You do need the magazine for the 9mm, though, too. I'm Peter Burlingame of the Self-Defense Initiative. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and recommend this to your friends. Thanks.